To my untrained eye, it looks like no one has milked her yet today. Hey, Bessie. I'm guessing that this is where you put that, which should come out the other end of the barrel. Ha! <laughs> it's clear as day. It worked! The loading tray working like a charm. Easy peasy Japanesey. Here, doggy, have some sausage. Commander, find out what's going on in the courtyard, and arrest those responsible for that noise! <sighs> and turn off this security system. It's too sensitive. Do something about it. Comrade! Over here! Follow me! To the leader's chambers! have had enough. In this country, I decide who thinks what. Not for long. Exactly. Without me, this country will fall. It will flourish. I couldn't care less about the country. Drop your weapon. Drop yours, traitor. That's an order. In the name of the people of Matryoshka. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> I won't fall for that. Neither will I. You all deserve each other! I'm here, Anna. Just in time! Do you have a weapon? Uh, I only have an unloaded gun. I'm disappointed in you, Ivan. You stand with traitors instead of defending your family? Family? My family? I knew all along. Ivan, meet your twin brother, Vlad. Brother? Twin? I thought he was just my doppelganger. You are. Uh, no, you. That idiot can't be my brother. That thug can't be my brother. I'm sorry, Evan, but it's true. Wait, so if he's my brother, and he's also the son of the leader's brother, then I'm also the son of the leader's brother. That is, his nephew. A real genius, that one. Idiot. Boys, don't fight. Ivan. Go see where my security went, and get them here this instant. You'll get Vlad's position and everything he's accumulated over the years. You must be dreaming. You're dead, uncle. Major Orlova, shoot the leader at once. That's in order. Both of you, drop your weapons and surrender. And maybe we'll only sentence you to life. The nerve. So stupid. I, I don't want to be his nephew. Or his brother. You don't choose your family. <laughs> yeah, you do. Evan, shoot the old man and I'll make you my right hand man. Don't trust him. I know. I'm counting to three in my head and then I'm firing. 
My finger's starting to itch. Evan, do something! I feel half as special because of him. I believed in him all my life. She looks good in that helmet. Uh, Vlad! Drop your weapon! Surrender! Never! This is my 15 minutes! Uh, it's over! Throw down your weapon! I am eternal! Evan! Think of something before we all die here! Uh, I'm working on it! It's quite ironic that the leader used the Iron Curtain to separate Matryoshka from the rest of the world, and now the Curtain has imprisoned him. Are you there? Uh, yes. Everything okay? I just got a little stunned. But those two are going to be out for a while. Are you gonna be okay? Can I go rescue the prisoners from execution? Yes. Hurry. But be careful. Uh, stop the train! Now! Yes, Comrade Minister. Uh, and one more thing. Can I contact Army Command on this radio? Yes, Comrade Minister. Putting you through now. This is Army Command awaiting orders, Comrade Minister. In the name of the leader, I order you to cease all military operations at once! All troops are to immediately return to the barracks! The arrested revolutionaries are to be set free! Set free? But... Comrade Leader has declared universal Amnesty! Universal amnesty? Yeah! Did you hear what the minister said? They'll let our relatives out of prison! <laughs> oh, forgive me, Comrade Minister, I, I just... Don't apologize, General. Just go. Yes, Comrade Minister, sir. Breath away from disaster. <sighs> I think everything's finally on the right track. Vlad and the leader have been knocked out. The people of Matryoshka are taking matters into their own hands. The prisoners have been rescued. And the humble journalist, Evan Kowalski, is still in one piece. Even though I lost my favorite jacket and Matryoshka turned out to be completely different from how it was described in the books, I'll fondly remember this adventure. At least I learned something from all of this. What I really learned is that not everything has a price, because sometimes what we're looking for is not on any store shelf. Be careful what you wish for, 
it might come true. I traveled far from home to see the most wonderful place in the world. Instead, I found people crawling over dead bodies to get what they want. But I also found hope. People with big hearts and courage. Together, we achieved unbelievable things. We've taken that hope past the borders that seemed unbreachable before. It's nice to finally rest knowing that the world now stands united and safe.